Hey everyone, well it's been a while uh, but I'm back on YouTube. I will be uploading um, fun easy science experiments that you can try at home. We'll do some art and um, some design, lots of fun activities um, hopefully with things that you've got around the house um, that you can enjoy and hopefully you'll be able to learn a bit along the way too. Uh, today we are going to do a little science experiment with static electricity and it's called the magic ruler. For this experiment, you will need a um, piece of paper and a pair of scissors, a ruler, plastic ruler, uh, a pen or a pencil, a piece of blue tack or plasticine. Um, it's just to hold the pen um, or pencil upright. So if you don't have blue tack or plasticine, to be honest, a brother, a sister, a mum or dad or anyone who can hold that pen upright for you will do. And you will also need um, some fluffy material, something like a dressing gown or a woolly jumper would be great. So the first thing we need to do is to get our pen or pencil standing up straight. So I'm using the blue tack, but as I said before, you could use plasticine or just get somebody to hold. That's absolutely fine. You then need to take a small square of paper. Any paper will do. It can be a newspaper, a little bit of scrap paper, just a small square. And I want you to fold it in half. Get it squished down. And then we're going to fold it in half again. We know if we folded something in half and then in half again, it's now in quarters. And then open it back up and you should see a little cross in the middle where the two fold lines meet. That's going to help you to balance this piece of paper on top of the pen or pencil. Just like that. Now, the next thing we're going to do is make a magic ruler. So I've just got a normal plastic ruler here. And as you can see, if I move it towards the paper, nothing much happens. We're going to use static electricity to turn this normal ruler into a magic ruler. So what I need to do is take my bit of furry fluffy material and I'm going to rub it on the ruler and what we're doing is we're charging it. We're adding a lot of negative charge to make static electricity on our ruler. This time if I move it towards my paper watch what happens. Not touching it. I can go all the way around and make it move. And how fast I can get it to go. I wonder if other items would work. Maybe if I used a plastic cone or a plastic fork. I wonder if it would still work if I used something different to paper. Would it still work if I had cart on the top? Have a go at home. Can you use static electricity to make a magic ruler? Have fun!